One of the great things about traveling when you geocache is you get to find different sorts of hiding styles and you get to encounter some amazing new geocache hiders. Right now, we are in Sea Schooner territory. Sea Schooner is an Arizona geocaching hider. He has some of the most favorited geocaches in the world and cumulative, he's one of the most favorited geocache hiders. So. We are in Sea Schooner territory. I have experienced some of his caches before a couple years ago, and now I'm back. I'm back by this beautiful canal, and I'm gonna find another one right now. All right, I'm here, I am at Ground Zero. Something at Ground Zero I noticed uh, that was a little bit different than other things. All right, right here it says Salt River Project. Is this anything? I don't know, but what we found next to it is, look at this, guys. I got it. Just looks like a pole, two poles. I think I could put them together and there's a little hook on the end of it. So uh, that means I probably have to reach something high, which means I probably have to look up. By chance, it's a tree right here. Let's look up, let's see what we can find. Oh, okay, there is the tree, there is my tot. Look up, 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 what? Oh yeah, look at that thing. That thing is huge. You guys, it looks like it's a barn. And I'm guessing it just sort of repels on down if I can pull on the hook. All right, you guys, I got the cash in hand. I got a pen. How cool is this? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Hi, how you guys doing? Hi. Let me just stop recording for a second. All right, guys, you're not gonna believe what happened. I was just talking about Sea Schooner just a few moments ago. So I'm here, I'm logging the cash, and then all of a sudden, the cash owner shows up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Uh, sea Schooner himself, how you doing, sir? Good, guys. It is good to meet you nice in person, you. finally. You are a caching legend, one of the top hiders in the world, my favorite points. You live near here. Yes. And you see you see many cachers along this canal. <laughs> I do. I mean, we sneak up on them all the time. Quite often, yeah. I might be at home drinking a cup of coffee, and, right. and I, nowadays folks log them online right. as they go. Right. So quite often, I'll just get on my bike and take a ride there out you go. and say hi. Or else you can just wave from your backyard. Yeah, I can do that too. Right. <laughs> and he walked up to me, and I'm thinking, I'm like, oh boy. I'm gonna have to do some geo-evangelism. I'm gonna hack this, but I thought they were muggles, but not so. So, fabulous cash. So great to meet you, and, and your geopup. But hi, Buster. Hi, Buster. Thank you so much for saying hi. Thanks for letting us film your caches, because you know what it does? It helps inspire people all over the world to not just hide skirt hides, but to really put some effort into it. So, yeah. thank you. On behalf of the whole geocaching community. You're welcome. Awesome. One of the things that's cool in here is there's an X tag in here. It's like an Arizona license plate. How cool is that? So I'm certainly gonna trade for that. That's fantastic. I just ran into a cache owner. This whole geocaching experience has been fantastic. This retracts right up. It just goes whoop. It's so cool because it like rehides itself. Guys, thanks so much for joining me for this geocaching adventure. If this is one of the first times you've ever seen any of my geocaching videos, make sure you click that subscribe box so you don't miss any of our adventures as we enjoy the world one geocache at a time in many places of the world, like the good old AZ. That's Arizona for the locals. Thank <laughs> you.